All right, we're back. Hmm. The Ekiti State Governor, Ayo Fayashi, has come under intense criticism for placing an advert suggesting that the presidential candidate of the APC or Progressive Congress, Muhammad Buhari, will die in office if elected president. There has been a lot of reactions to this ad. What are your thoughts on this? It's your view. Let it count. You can call us on 070-8066-8014. You could tweet to us at your view TVC. Let me start with Jumoke. Morayo, I saw the advert. Fayoshe did not say that he will die. Ah, wait. He Is put a question mark and say, uh, mm. uh, put an end to state burials. He made his probability. Ah, he didn't wait. say he will he said, die. Choose between life or death. Um, you know what he said? So if you choose said, life, or she's dead. No, I know that nobody will die. I, have brought, I don't get I have this. given you life and OED uh, or something. I've um, given you life, life and, death. and death. Choose, choose life. life. That your children may live. Mm. And it's, you put pictures of past presidents and heads of states who are dead. Yes, from the northwest. Up to Yes, from the northwest. Buhari will follow. Uh, yes. Those were facts. How sir. else? Ah, how no, else? No, he didn't say no, Buhari no, no, will follow. He said, no, no, no. He put his just, picture there with a question no, mark. Eh. What are you saying? Oh. Ah. We, we all saw this advert now. He put the picture there. Paro. He didn't say he would die. He put the picture there. Wait. So how did he interpret it? That he was just putting their pictures. What's the interpretation? Wait. The question mark is that he put his age. 72 years. And the question mark. And question mark. Saying that somebody at 72, if there were four others that are died from the northwest Without and we bury them using the federal government resources this man may also die that is right i think see me there that question, question mark, mark is a mark. now listen that question mark is a me that's it's a me question that's mark that question mark is a me no you let me tell you my own interpretation of the question he mark he didn't he didn't my own uh, interpretation of the question mark is that we put this and this and these people who have died conclusion after all the premise he has stated this and these people have died down 72 this person the same region Question mark. Will he not follow these people? No, he's even choose At life 72. or death. So you're saying that he is this the, person he is, is defining death. death. Life is uh, if you choose the other person. He has turned him into okay, a symbol so, of so exactly. So you're saying it's a symbol of death. Choosing this man is a symbol of death. Okay, so that's one, what I interpreted. One thing we have agreed upon is that each person has interpreted this same advert in different ways. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which is what created the controversy following the advert. But regardless of how each mm -hmm. of us interpreted it. One thing that came across for all of us that this is wrong is because nobody, no human being living, born by a woman, is able to say of another human being when he or she will die. Exactly. Praise the Lord. Because it is God who, who only him can say he has given us life and death for us to choose one, mm. not a human being. Yeah. So can, that's where I fault fire share. Can I and we have already signed a peace pact. Why are you bringing? A governor. Why are you bringing? Can senior member of the party should not be going against a peace party. Can party I ask this time. Okay, why can't let me hear why can't. I just want to ask, mm. what do you think Fayoshe uh, uh, dreamt of that night? That he, <laughs> how did he? <laughs> let me tell you. You know, no, well, you what, said, what, let, let me tell me. you something. I was on the street mm. and I saw the punch and uh, not punch. I, it was sun. sun. Mm. I saw and I said, ah, what's this? Ah, let me buy it. <laughs> when I saw it That's the idea. and I was driving, I just started to laugh. I said, what is this? So I'm trying to put myself inside okay, wait, let me, let me, let me, let me try to answer that question, if I can. I have an answer, let me, answer. Okay. Mm, after you. What I understood from what I read from what I was saying is a comment like, Jonathan, President Jonathan helped, supported him in getting to that position he is right now. Yes. I will do everything, every resource he has to get, to, to support um, Jonathan to get back to office. Number so two. That's part of why he's trying to do everything he can. Number, number two. Yes. I heard that, that had that. In one of the newspapers, cost twenty million naira. Yeah, exactly. One yeah. of the newspapers, one, one of them. Of them. Now, Equity State is not generating any funds. It At only all. makes money from federal government and one of the poorest. Now, if he was buying chicken worth billions in mm. December from funds that he said he said was his uh, security votes mm. given by the government. He's not selling coconuts or palm oil in the kitchen. And has refused to pay September salary. He's salad. now looking at this general Buhari that he looks like a, lots of people are supporting this man. Oh, what can I do? What can I do? Because if he goes, and I will spare no resources. I will spare no resources. Today, he now mm. says, even if PDP is saying no, that they don't support what I have done, this man is an analog old Mude. 
in to daily sun to, today fire show say the man is an analog old model so i don't regret what i've said i have no apologies that is where ah, my reply now comes man, eh, now let me explain though. something let, to him him let me explain <laughs> something to fire uh, fire because i've never liked him i've seen him as someone that makes unguarded statements too much so i don't respect him his words to me don't mean anything they always sound somehow to me my grandfather lived to be 105 hmm. it means he lived well hmm. now to have to live to live to a ripe old age you know and live to you and see some of your children die in your eyes doesn't mean that it is by age that people die mm. Mm. so when you wish a person death remember it is knocking on everybody's door true you can come to anybody anytime the mm. same people that you think you know will leave somebody mm. might be the people to bear to, to to be buried by that person yeah so you should be careful when you open your mouth. As a Yoruba man, you should even know what he's saying. Mm, you exactly. Should know. You should I'm an Ekiti man, exactly. I was an Ekiti. That side, you should know they understand Yoruba very, very well. And they know that words are very, 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 very weighty. But let me take this but call. Good morning. Oh, no. <coughs> uh, this is Imam Lukman, <coughs> Imam Lukman from Ibrado. Okay. A first time caller. Woo! So oh, I love yes. your program. May all night allow subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you all Amen. abundantly. Amen. Amen. To start with, I am an imam. But I want to refer us to a biblical fast. We say, April 9, verse 27. It is appointed for a man to die once. Hmm. After death, what comes? Judgment. Judgment. Whatever we do in this life, we should know that one day we are going to be accounted. Allah is going to scan through all our deeds. Now, why are we partial? Kilometer and Shia Bosi, in 1993, in 1983, Shiva Bafem contested at the age of 74. Unam Bia Sikwe, in 1979, at the age of 74 as well. Uh, other statement, U.S. President at the age of 70, etc., yeah. etc. Et age is not a barrier. Exactly. Okay. What we need, whether Bukhari has to start, whether he had a, 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 a F9 parallel, <laughs> we want change and what... All right, I think we get the point. Thank you so much. Um, okay. I just want no, no, to, I just, can no, I just no, answer no, that? No. Yes. Because he said in 1983, that's past tense. Future now, they, they don't, uh, America, they go for young young people. I answered Mariah with the same thing on Monday when she was saying that uh, Mandela and people, I said, oh, that was in those days. In those so, days, The new. governance now. Mandela go ahead. Yes, the only thing you tell me was tired. May I, re that's may I read Mandela. a tweet? Dami says, I'm not surprised he said that because for him to slap a chief judge exactly. sometimes back, personally, no. I feel... The judge said he didn't slap him. Eh? The judge, I remember that. I the judge didn't the judge say judge that. The judge said he did not slap he him. Stops. What did he do? No, he ordered his stocks to beat him up. The judge did not What did he do? I don't no. know. But know he he said he didn't he slap him. him. Moriah, let me stay. The judge said I was not slapped. Let me call. Ah, ah. The judge said okay. his thugs beat him up in, 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 by his yes. order. And he said, I didn't touch him all. Ah, ah. Good morning, I think I have this call. Go ahead. From Benue, I believe. Hello? TV yes, TV. go ahead, please. Hello? Uh, hello. Good morning, from Benue State, right? I'm trying to get uh, the yeah, name. Good morning. Go ahead. Uh, please, uh, I have uh, some suggestions toward the youth presenters. Uh, please. I think they are different between media Media journalism and uh, Pakistan journalism. It baffles me any time that I watch you present us. I told you, four or three people, including the other lady who is not present here, the way you cited media issue articles that concern Nigeria, you think politics, is not correct. It's not correct. Especially the other day that our, our president visited Burno State in a bit to, to encourage our military. Eh? The, one of your presenters here called President Vincent to Borussia at a political visit. And in, in America, CNN or any other view or this never condemned either George Bush or Barack Obama to visit Afghanistan in a day to encourage their military. Mm. In short, okay. our major problem in this country is journalism first. Major houses 
sometimes that this is where Pakistan, especially this TBC. I don't right. know. Thank you very much, should... Mr. Visa. I'm not really sure I understand what you're saying. They were partisan or something. Yeah, yeah. Usman on Twitter says, my own concern is not because of the death wish on um, Buhari. It's because of the mockery on our past leaders who served the country well. And somebody mentioned on this table that Fire Share is a Yoruba man for Mikiti. He should know better, you know, that whatever the issues that you have, politics should be played with some level of decorum. <laughs> Do you understand? It's not for you to come no, on national newspapers and start to, you know, the, 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 the advert is in simple terms, offensive mm. to any right-thinking okay. person. And to right. say you will not apologize. That means I'm not right-thinking. No, you <laughs> think the advert is not offensive? No, I, I, did, I found funny. it amusing. I didn't think... I, I didn't think it, I thought no, it was on in the bad face taste. Of it Wait, and listen, one I thought it was in bad taste. Mm. But when I I look at I, I just say this guy is crazy. I just tell him. I I look at him. You know how you look at mad people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that's another angle. Let's not call him a mad mad. I, no, no. I, I just said you know how you look at mad people. Okay. You you laugh and you yeah. say ah we're in the boy you and you just start <laughs> laughing. That's I saw it and I went ah we're in the boy and I just yeah, started laughing. All right. It shouldn't yeah. be surprising though. Considering his antecedents, just okay. like you cited, or during the political whatever to become governor, the statements he kept making, the the first term as a governor, mm -hmm. everything that he, his usual style. Because yeah. what made him fall off with fall out with uh, Mabasanjo? This kind of character <coughs> in the first place. All right, mm. I think we all we all kind of kind of agreed on the same thing. Because and was wrong. lots of tweets and are very offensive. Say, okay. uh, you know, they're using harsh words. Um, okay. Somebody saying. Yeah, that, jati no, jati, no, that's not, that's not, know, that's so, not so that's why I'm not taking tweets. And there's several of them. Are there good ones? Um, Decent ones. Our Yemi Michael says, I think Governor Fayashi needs to apologize for the advert as a good Yoruba man. Mm -hmm. No man should wish another person dead in the name of politics. One more, please. Uh, okay. Ade Riye Taiwo says, Fayashi just like ridiculing himself and behave childish okay. and stupidly with On that, that note, kind of advert. We end the segment. Duh. When we come back, the MD of Lhasa takes the hot seat. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. With the elections drawing near and political campaigns reaching fever pitch, posters of various political parties and their candidates have surfaced dotting the various highways, streets and signage to compete for attention. This has caused some rukas between the Lhasa, that's the Lagos State Signage and Advertisement Agency, and the police command on the proper pasting of campaign posters in Lagos. Joining us to shed more light on this is the Managing Director of the Lagos State Signage and Advertisement Agency, Mr. George Noah. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. Good morning. Sir, before we go ahead and do it, what exactly is the contention between Lhasa and the police? We've been hearing these reports. Please clarify what happened. Um, just uh, about a couple of uh, weeks ago, I got a call that I needed to see the police commissioner. Um, I had no prior knowledge what the meeting was going to be, and I went. And, you know, incidentally, we, it was about 15-minute uh, session with him, and he spent almost like um, 10 minutes talking about the countdown that we had, that, he, you, know, he, you know, he enjoyed, you know, um, the whole exercise. Um, and we got tremendous support from them. And the five minutes um, uh, out of the 15 minutes, um, he spoke about posters and that, um, we should allow people to paste posters anywhere and Lhasa should not um, fulfill its statutory mm -hmm. function by removing posters away from places that we've said they should not be pasted. And I said that's not, you know, that can't happen. Um, and that's how we left it. And I think if uh, about 30 minutes thereabout when I left that meeting, he addressed a press conference. And, and I think w the statement he read was, you know, um, uh, you know uh, already with him. 
Mm. And uh, my discussion with him um, just didn't make any difference because I did insist that it is our responsibility to um, read um, the streets of, of posters. And in the case of political um, posters, we, we had a town hall meeting in November last year where we invited all the stakeholders, the political parties, and we did explain to them the things they could do and the things they could not do. Um, we even published in four national newspapers, you know, um, the guidelines. Very simple. Um, and I, I said, look, um, in the name of election, we should not, um, you know, defile the environment. Um, and and the, 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 the guideline is very simple. Do not paste posters on highways. Do not paste posters on high streets. Don't put, hang political campaign materials on NEPA installations, on electricity poles, not street lamp poles. Mm. Don't put banners across the road. Mm. Um, use A4, A, A, A4 frames in inner streets. Mm. Um, paste posters, if you wish, in inner streets. Very simple. Yeah. Use creative forms of um, outdoor advertising mm. to create awareness for your party or for your candidates. You know. People have said that the, more, the people that actually flout this um, rule mm. are most of the APC because they see more of the APC posters across when they're that Lhasa is completely, being partisan. Completely false. Look, I mean, including our viewers who are watching this program, we all live in this environment. Can you say that it is only APC posters that you find um, uh, all over the place? Um, we have, we have, we have post posters of political parties all over the place. I, I, I see more APC posters. In fairness to both parties, I see more APC posters. Depending on where you are. Like uh, the other day, you see, my own problem, because my own, I'm coming from a different angle. Yeah. Because when we do celebration, they don't let us put post, post, posters. Yeah. So the minute I start seeing political posters, I start complaining. Hey, look, oh, you see, they have, they have started their politics now. See posters everywhere. And I see posters everywhere. Um, that um, road. Um, Osborne. Osborne, where for I drove, sure. I drove on Osborne. Uh, uh, during, during the... The whole length of the road. The, mm. the rally. The, before the APC rally. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. Well, the whole I saw the road. posters everywhere. Okay. Said, did you, did, were you there when the PDP held the rally for, for President Jonathan? And I'm telling you, I have my, you know, we have 22 branch offices in the state. And they give me, you know, reports on a daily basis. And I'm telling you, from the report I have, we have um, more PDP posters and you know, APC posters. And it depends on which part of Lagos you are. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you are. Okay, question. Um, your signage um, advertising and agency law is 2006. Mm. The Commissioner of Police is citing the Electoral Act 2010, Section 100, mm. Part 2. Yeah. It's more current no. than your... I'm that. sorry. Look, um, the, the enabling law setting up LASA states that, and if, if you look at the constitution, mm. when it comes to outdoor, it is local councils that have control. Mm. In the case of Lagos and in some other states in the federation, mm -hmm. some local councils have come together and say, look, we want to have um, a situation where we can streamline policies on you know, the practice of outdoor. Mm. And ceded that authority, that power to an agency mm. to do that function. It is not the business of the federal government under our constitution. It's in the yes. federal constitution for, you know, um, outdoor mm -hmm. to be a purview of the federal um, um, government. Okay. So the electoral law you're talking about, you know, mm. um, cannot supersede the laws that have been given to, you know, local councils in the regulation of now, outdoor. the federal law that I'm talking about says yes. inter alia that no apparatus of any government mm. should be used to the advantage or disadvantage of any political party. So, now, there have been rumors, mm. and Moriah just said one, that yeah. we see more mm. APC. The, poli the police are now saying that if you're going to remove posters, remove Everybody. all the posters. Don't give anybody advantage no, or please, disadvantage. please, don't let us go I there. have a question to you, uh, sir. Wait, let me answer that f first. Um, no one, no one mm. will accuse Lassa of going on a street mm. to remove posters and removing 
the posters of one political party and leaving another one. No one can do so that. So you do that? You go around of course. taking all both? Okay. And in fact, you know, if you, 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 can, you, you can Google it, there's a report on the BBC mm. actually showing, you know, Lhasa officials removing posters of APC people. Mm. BBC is not even, you know, we're not even... Okay, showing that. Yeah. Okay, let me just... I have here. a question. How do you, you know, go about removing and sanctioning these people? Is it that you, you just go after your press briefing, mm. regulate, telling them what they should and shouldn't do, the mm. limits and all that? Mm. How do you now go ahead to, to, enforce know, it. to enforce it? Do you just take it down or you give them another Sanction warning or something? Or something? No, we, 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 we remove the posters. Okay. Now, um, there are issues of uh, sanctions. Mm. And I think moving forward, these are um, issues that we have to address, but mm. it, it's, a, it's a more complex thing. Mm. And I think moving forward, we're looking at how we're going to resolve this issue about, about, mm. about sanctions. But what we do right now is we go to an area, we remove. Look, before this um, exercise, we used to have about, up to about 20,000 posters, you know, deployed in different mm. parts of Lagos on a daily basis. Now we're having up to about 200,000. It's a huge task. And at the end of this whole exercise, you know, we would have to clean up, spend a lot of money, mm. and so on to, you know, clean up place. But one thing I want to say is that, aside from posters, we have had a situation where um, um, PDP agents have gone and deployed um, ad advert materials of, you know, President Goodluck Jonathan on poles, on street lamp poles, paid for mm. by companies. Okay, I yes. give the example. I've seen that. Um, oh, yeah, um, who are we? Mm. They've cancelled the contract they have with the outdoor agency mm. because they don't want to be associated with any political it's party. Yes. And and you have on, on one side of the yes. poll, um, you know, their advert and then the PDP mm. Underneath, completely I saw that. illegal. Mm. Mm. No, no. Look, the APC um, street lamp poles you find all over the place. There's an application for it. And there's payment and for they're it. Paid for. Now, the, the PDP just come and install materials on street lamp poles. The second example I want to give you is on Tedman Lamb Bridge, where you have Glow. Mm. Yes. They've cancelled their contract with the outdoor agency because you know you now have PDP um, you know, street lamp mm. pole materials mm. side by side with theirs. Mm. No, no, no right thinking um, you know, um, blue chip company mm. would want to be associated with any any okay. political party. All right, I have to take a quick break right now. Well, okay. uh, I'll let you pause. When we come back, we're going to talk more on this last matter. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now, still on Lhasa. Now, well, hey, 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 I'll, get, I'll get your question. Ah, ah Jehovah. <laughs> they want to, they want to, <laughs> one second. Obviously, there's this thing of the, the, um, they feel that maybe, well, because um, Lagos is an APC state, mm. right? So people assume that APC posters will be giving some kind of preference. Now, we want you to help us let us know categorically that are you giving APC posters preference in Lagos? May State? I ask yes the question? No? The, the answer is a categorical no. no. May okay. I add to that question? Yes. Some of your registered agencies, because you have um, advert agencies, have, have said that, um, Lassa said that they shouldn't take PDP adverts. Mm. Is that, that true? true? It's not true. And let me explain because. And I think it's important for members of the public to understand this. Mm. Lhasa does not own the billboards. Mm -hmm. All we do is give permission for you to cite your structure mm. in a particular place and, you know, particular size. Mm. Um, so they're privately owned? They are all privately owned. Mm. And as a result, these are all individual business people. Mm. Okay. It is their prerogative to give their advert you know um, structure to anybody they choose okay. so it is very absurd you know for anyone to think to say that because the, the general impression is that Lhasa controls or holds this yeah. and, uh, and gives it out to anybody yeah. you know we don't okay so that's exactly what no, it is. Interesting. no 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 my own okay. question is not political my own is self-serving please when we are doing collaboration they don't let us <laughs> put our poster. So, are you saying that you can year, apply? Well, can I apply? And then we'll be putting poster. In well, the, the, the good news one. is this. Mm. The good news is that um, by the time this whole exercise, you know, is concluded, mm. you know, you, you're going to have places where you can legally 
you know, pays posters. Okay. Hey, so, well. so that's that's yeah, that's. So I, to I, I will take you up on it. You no, were, we were talking uh, about yeah. pulling down, um, you know, adverts that, that you know have contravened the, the mm. regulation. Yes. Now I saw a, an advert just like the one you cited about the lampposts and other side by side, and mm. then instead of pulling it down, they put a poster, you know, an marking an it. An X sign. An X sign over it. Well, Sorry. Um, interestingly, that wasn't done by Lassa. Okay. That was done by um, APCON. Which, is, um, which regulates the content of your advert. Mm. Um, we don't um, regulate content. what goes on the, the billboards or what goes on the street lamp poles, the message. So it's, it's a contravention of um, you know, APCON rules. Perhaps they did not take okay. permission or did not get clearance before right. those things were posted. Let me take a large call. Good morning, Alaji from Lekki. Uh, good morning, Morayo. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Good morning. Good morning. And you okay in particular? <laughs> um, my my question and uh, my contribution goes to the general manager of MD of our Senate, Lagos Senate uh, Company. You see, one thing is very clear about this issue. There's no way there will be a political activity without fifteen poster. And second, oh. Goodness me. Well, let, let me. Let me respond to that. Okay. Look, if you go to, you know, other, it's just that it's become a Nigerian thing. You go to other parts of the world, they don't use posters during elect electioneering. Hmm. You know, they use uh, more, a lot of more creative ways. Yeah. And moving forward, that's how we have to do. Mm -hmm. So why I mean, did you, you cancel the posters totally? Well, you know, um, and I said moving forward, you mm -hmm. know, at the end of this exercise, we have to sit down and, yeah, you know, say, look, it. let other states do whatever they want. In Lagos, this is how we want things to be done. Mm. Uh, and then, because if you go to the US, you go to the UK, you go to France, you don't see posters, you know, all over the place during the election. Mm. And politicians must learn to be very creative in using the outdoor medium, you know, um, in, during electioneering. Look, no. for instance, um, I have not seen any inflatable, any inflatable in the you know, yes, um, in, at all. In, well, we don't expensive. see it in Lagos, but I see it. No, I see it in other states. The president for, for uses for, he uses it at his rallies. I'm rallies. talking about Lagos now. Yeah, they don't. So, they don't. So I'm I'm saying that there are a lot more um, right. creative about, methods of doing this thing. We only have about two minutes left. Yes. So I need you to tell us categorically what and what they can do and what they cannot do. Just one more time, so our viewers know what's illegal, where they shouldn't be, so that you know when people are pulling things down, we know why they've been pulled down. Okay. Um, Political parties are not allowed to go and put um, posters on anybody's billboards. Okay. Mm -hmm. They are not allowed to go and put materials on street lamp poles that they have and not paid off. for. Mm -hmm. They are not allowed to paste posters on high streets. And I'll give example, Mobilaji Bankantoni, yes. um, Kingsway Road, those are high streets. Mm -hmm. Or um, the, the expressway, um, you are not allowed okay. to go and paste posters. Well, let me on ask one question. Can, can yes. you find the political party for doing that? Can you say, raise sanctions? Like, for example, if we go down King King's Road and see mm. posters of any party, maybe APC, can you go to their, to their secretary and say, you know what, we're sending you this fine because we told your people not to post on these areas? Is that possible? It is possible. Okay. That's, that's, that's Do the you have an time. enabling law? Well, our law says that you know when you infringe on these rules, yeah. we can you know levy, we can you know we can fine you. Okay. you know, so so okay. the, right, law, so the law covers us on this. All right. Thank you so much, sir, for coming. Thank appreciate you, very you being much. here, uh, ladies. Good show. <laughs> 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 Don't forget to watch a repeat broadcast of this program at 11:30 p.m. tonight. You can also watch previous episodes by watching by going to YouTube slash TV Entertainment and search for Your View. Your vote is your right. Don't waste it. Use it wisely. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.